Hello everyone, I'm Guo Qingpu from University of California, Los Angeles, and my supervisor is Prof Professor Jalali. My topic today is AI-enabled time stretch spectral interferometry. Here, AI performs not classification but regression for spectral magnitude and phase retrieval in spectral interferometry based on single short region. Our results show that compared to the traditional methods, AI can achieve much more precise magnitude and phase retrieval in spectral interferometry. Thus, this AI-enabled time stretch spectral interferometry is potential in precise temporal response reconstruction and high-speed material characterization. Spectral interferometry is a technique which can obtain the relative magnitude and phase between the two arms of the interferometer. The principle is illustrated as a figure and equations here. A broadband pulsed laser source is split into two arms of a Mahesender interferometer. The pulse in the upper arm is the signal and the lower arm serves as the reference, which undergoes a delay that determines the interferometric fringe and frequency. The signal and reference meet in a copper generating spectral interfer interference. The magnitude and the phase spectrum imposed by the spectral modulator are encoded into the, spe into the spectrum fringe and parting. Spectral interferometry has wide applications, including the spider method for ultra short pulse characterization, solid molecule dynamics vibrometry and velocimetry, and blood cells classification. Previously, based on spectral interferometry, our lab developed time stretch quantitative phase imaging for blood cells classification. Through a Michelson interferometer, spectral interferometry for obtaining the frequency response of cells and the Hilbert transform is used for phase extraction. Then, deep learning classifies the cells into different classes with high accuracy based on features including the phase obtained by Hilbert method. Moreover, deep learning is used to replace traditional iterative algorithms in ultra short pulse reconstruction from frog traces. As a deep learning based, based technique is more robust to Loises showing better performance. Traditional methods to retrieve magnitude and phase in spectral, interferomet spectral interferometry contain Hilbert, -based, Hilbert transform based method and Fourier transform based method, which are equivalent in principles. However, the procedures of traditional methods can be really complicated, as shown in the left figure. When using traditional methods, some factors including envelope correction, no robustness to noises may cause errors in the retrieved magnitude and phase. So, is there a better method to retrieve the magnitude and phase in spectral interferometry? Here, we propose AI-enabled time stretch spectral interferometry. In the front end, there is a Mahesender interferometer for spectral interferometry, which is the same with the previous page. In the upper arm, a spectral modulator is used to simulate the sample under test for each complex frequency response of the spectral modulator. The magnitude and phase frequency responses are subject to the KK relations to ensure causality. In experiments, these complex profiles are modulated onto the laser spectrum using a wave shaper. The interferometer pattern, interference pattern can be measured using either a special readout with a grating spectrometer or by temporal readout using a time stretch spectrometer. The latter maps the spectrum into the temporal signal with a time scale that is slow enough for signal acquisition with the real-time digitizer. The backend contains photo detection, 
digitization and post-signal processing. For post-signal processing, AI is used to replace traditional methods for magnitude and phase retrieval in spectral interferometry. As a proof of concept, a five-layer fully connected neural, neural, neural network performs regression for single short magnitude and phase retrieval. The input of the, of the network is only one frame of interferogram and the output is the retrieved magnitude and phase, which is the concatenated vector as shown in the figure. Note that the sizes of the input and output layers vary according to the sampling rate of the digitizer. During time stretch, the pulse is stretched, thus the peak power goes down, and the SNR also becomes smaller as shown in the upper arm of the left figure. Amplified time stretch is proposed to address this problem. It can stretch and amplify the pulse simultaneously as shown in the lower arm of the left figure. With amplified time stretch, large dispersion can be used to achieve both high SNR and high spectrum resolution. Here, we choose Raman Amplified Time Stretch, and the setup is shown in the right. This page shows the experimental results of both the Herbert method and AI. For AI, we show two versions here. One is trained with a small training set, and the other is trained with a large training set. The figure shows one profile retrieval results. Note that the retrieved results by the Hebel method are average results over multiple frames, whereas for AI, the results are based on single short ranging. Both AI models outperform the Hebel method. In the upper part of figure A, ripples caused by non-narratives of the DCF used for time stretch exist in the magnitude retrieved by the Hilbert method. However, AI is able to compensate minorities induced distortions. The figure shows the distributions of the magnitude and phase root mean squared error of both AI models and the Hilbert method over a test set consisting of 300 profiles. Experimentally trained neural networks uh, per produce lower mean errors with smaller de standard deviations. The Hilbert transform has a much larger mean RMSE and a standard deviation. The same comparative behavior holds for the face RMSE. To conclude, AI is way better than the Hilbert transform method in retrieving the magnitude and phase. Single short and fast real time measurement of the interferometer output. The resolution and assembly rates of the real time digitizer can become a better bottleneck. We use the physical simulator to quantify the accuracy of magnitude and phase retrieval for different digitizer resolutions and sampling rates. The digitizer resolution of ADC is quantized with effective number of bits in op. The figure shows the mean magnitude RMSE and mean phase RMSE over the same test set under different in op. It turns out that AI is more robust to quantization noise to hear the method. Requires only four bits compared to six bits before quantization noise reduces accuracy and AI performs much better under low enob. The enob is fixed at 6 bit in order to investigate the sensitivity to sampling rates. The figure shows the mean magnitude and RMSE and mean phase RMSE over the same test set, test set under different sampling rates. Given a fringe frequency about 1 GHz, further increasing the sampling rate does not obviously improve the performance when the sampling rate is above like uh, 20 k samples per second. Still, AI performs much better under low sampling rates. To summarize, 
for spectral interferometry, AI is way better than Hilbert method in retrieving the magnitude and phase. High retrieval accuracy provided by AI is very promising for high-speed material characterization. Further, AI is more robust to quantization noise to Hilbert transform, requires only 4 bits compared to 6 bits before quantization noise reduces accuracy. And AI performs much better than the Hilbert method under low summing rates. Thank you for your attention.